Okay, so this is our landing of Space Shuttle Land. It's one of the last landings in the shuttle program. And I've heard a lot about change. I've only you know, been here for a little bit of time. I arrived yesterday, but I, speaking to people and hearing some of the talks earlier, change is everywhere, right? It's, no one can hide from it. And certainly that was the case at NASA. And you know, the, the theme here is bold moves. I think it really was a bold move for NASA, what they did at the end of the shuttle program. They had wanted, with the shuttle program, at the beginning for it to be a commercial vehicle eventually. They were actually rewriting some of the manuals so that airline pilots could one day fly this thing. But what happened was is they had that first accident, Challenger, back in 1986, and like, ah, I don't, NASA realized they're not ready for that yet. But when the shuttle was going away, they tried to take advantage of that to inspire commercial enterprise and new technology to come into the program. And they set up uh, what we call the commercial crew program with companies like SpaceX. SpaceX was in charge of a lot. I mean, NASA was helping, but they were in charge of a lot. They were going to build a vehicle, they were going to test it, and they were going to operate it as well. So this was like, are you kidding me? How, why are we doing this? You know, this was all new to us. And the amount of, of technology that was coming in there, the artificial intelligence, the automation, if you've seen some of the things they've been able to do, like land a stage of the rocket out on a platform in the ocean, if you've, it's just at night. You know, we were hearing these plans, like there's no way this is gonna happen. But they started slowly and started building up and we, we, we get, got more and more confidence in what they were doing. The automation was really hard for us to, 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 um, to accept because the space shuttle was a very manually flown vehicle. And now just about everything was gonna be done by computer. But they showed us that in many of the cases, in most of the cases where a person could intervene, you were actually safer with the computer intervening. The, 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 the automation was safer than the person. We're like, okay, that's good. We want to stay alive. So it became a, an automated vehicle that uh, allowed less training so more people could fly. You could concentrate on other aspects of your, of your flight. The reusability of it has driven the price down. So we see more and more people going to space now. And so what we have through that change was the old system was the shuttle, my launch, and now we're into this new era with all these changes. And they were hard to accept. A lot of us didn't want to accept them. And you had to, you had to or you had to get out of the way. And I, those who have accepted that, the, the automation, the changes, the way the program has, is now as compared to the way it was uh, 20 years ago when I had my first flight, is much different. And we're starting to see some of the benefits, even the, the seeing of all the people that have gotten a chance to go into space and the success that NASA's had with its missions as well. So that change was really difficult to accept, but we're seeing the benefits of it now. <laughs>